Dutch officials in Israel are reacting with anger to the newest leak from Edward Snowden. Classified documents reveal that the National Security Agency read emails from the Israeli Prime Minister's office for three years. In a 60 Minutes interview last night, Leslie Stahl asked National Security Advisor Susan Rice if it's time for the Obama administration to make a deal with the NSA leaker. Edward Snowden. You know, Snowden is believed to have a million and a half more documents that have never been released. Given that, would you, would the president, consider granting him amnesty in exchange for him never releasing any more documents? Well, Leslie, we don't think that Snowden deserves amnesty. We believe he should come back, he should be sent back, and he should have his day in court. But if, if what he's released so far has been so damaging, and he has a million and a half more documents, it, how important it is, is it that he not release those? And what would we offer him? Leslie, I, you Nothing? know I'm not going to get into a negotiation with you on camera about something uh, that no, sensitive. But you just but to suggest the, no. the position of the United States is that he ought to come back and face justice. Has he, in either directly, indirectly, in any way, proposed such a, an arrangement? Not that I'm aware of. This past week, a federal judge ruled that the NSA's bulk collection of American phone records revealed in Snowden's leaks almost certainly violates the Constitution, while a panel of intelligence and legal experts urged the president to impose new restrictions on the NSA. According to an article in The New Yorker, Every time there's been a question about putting restraints on the NSA up to now, the president has sided with the intelligence community. What the NSA and our intelligence community does as a whole is designed to protect Americans and our allies, and they do a heck of a good job at it. Officials in the intelligence community have actually been untruthful, both to the American public in, in hearings in Congress and to the FISA court. There have been cases where they have inadvertently uh, made false representations, and they themselves have discovered it and corrected it. But when you have so many phone records being held, uh, emails, heads of states, phone conversations being listened into, has it been worth our allies being upset? Has it been worth all the tech companies being upset? Has it been worth Americans feeling that they're privacy has been invaded. Leslie, it's been worth what we've done to protect the United States. And the fact that we have not had a, a successful attack on our homeland since 9-11 should not be diminished. But that does not mean that everything we're doing as of the present ought to be done the same way in the future. Rice also says that the recent nuclear agreement with Iran does not mean the U.S. trusts Iran's government. She says the White House will keep, make sure that it can keep track of Iran's nuclear program and will punish Iran if it breaks the six-month agreement by trying to build a nuclear weapon.